After numerous months of testing on the pre-prod testnet, I'm super excited to share with you guys that the Lace Wallet being developed by IOG has officially launched on the Cardano mainnet. What is going on Cardano community? Welcome back to Dapp Central. I'm your host here, Fareed, and as a part of today's video, I am super pumped up to announce that the Lace Wallet being developed by IOG is officially live on the Cardano mainnet. So without taking up any more time, we're just gonna go ahead and head straight over to their website, which is going to be lace.io. And what I wanna do is break down exactly what we're getting as a part of Lace version V1 and what we can expect in the future. So it reads here, Lace 1.0, is now live introducing the first light wallet platform from the creators of cardano again this is going to be developed by iog which is going to be one of the founding or one of the driving arms driving the adoption of cardano now what i want to do is talk about exactly what we can expect with lace version 1.0 and exactly what we can expect as a part of future releases and so answering the first question let's talk about what we're getting with the first version release with lace version 1.0 you can send and receive cardano digital assets like ada cardano nfts and cardano native tokens you can also stake your ADA to contribute to the security of the Cardano network and receive rewards for your participation. And you can even send multiple assets to different addresses in one transaction with one transaction fee, thanks to the new bundle transaction feature. This is a huge update here that I have to mention. I'm not currently aware of any other wall that does this right now, but it does look like it is a brand new feature being adopted with Lace. So for example, let's say you want to maybe send one single transaction to two or three of your different friends with separate wallets, of course, you'll now be able to do that and only have to pay for one transaction fee. Prior to this, you would have to have sent three separate transactions, which would incur three separate transaction fees. But with this bundle feature, it looks like you can send multiple assets to multiple wallets all in one go. So Cardano is paving the way again with huge updates like this coming to Lace. Now, what can we expect in the future for Lace? So Lace version 1.0 is just the first release. So we expect a slew of regular updates and enhancements in the future as the platform evolves. The Lace team is already at hard work developing a dApp store, a desktop app, and a digital identity solution or a DID solution. Meanwhile, and this is gonna be huge here, Fiat on ramps and off ramps, as well as in wallet swaps, a richer staking experience with multi delegation and a portfolio view are all in the pipeline. Let's break all of those updates down there because I think they're all huge for what is coming to wallets on Cardano. So first things first, a fiat on and off ramp. If you guys don't understand what this means, this is going to basically allow for users coming into Cardano to circumvent um, centralized exchanges like Coinbase or Binance. Traditionally, you have to buy your ADA on a centralized exchange, and then from there, you can send that ADA to your Cardano wallet, which you can then self-custody or manage on your own. But with a fiat on-ramp, there's gonna be some kind of way or method to purchase Cardano directly within the Lace wallet. And then similarly, to get a um, fiat off-ramp, this will allow for you to take your ADA off um, and move it potentially into your bank account or something like that all throughout the wallet. And so this is going to simplify getting from point A to point B, right, when it comes to purchasing Cardano. And it's also going to ensure that people are all doing this in a non-custodial way, again, circumventing centralized exchanges. Now, the second update here is going to be in wallet swaps. Now, if you guys are not familiar with in wallet swaps, they've already got this running live on Ethereum but this will allow for you to swap for assets directly from within your wallet. So this is gonna simplify the process of having to connect to a DEX, head over to their website, and then set up your orders there. You're gonna be able to do all of this directly within the Lace wallet. Now, I have to note here that we have the NuFi wallet right now, which is a multi-network wallet that already supports this feature. So using the NuFi wallet, which is a uh, wallet that supports Cardano, Solana, and Ethereum, you can actually go ahead and purchase tokens there. Now, the cool thing about NuFi is that it uses the Wing Riders deck. So any transactions that occur within that wallet all take place on Wing Riders. And so what I'm interested in finding out is exactly who the IOG or the Lace wallet will actually be utilizing, right? Could it be MintSwap? Could it be Wing Riders? Could it be Sunday Swap? Could it be Muesli Swap? Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, but they will have to actually 
take this trade and um, have it be made on some sort of decentralized exchange, right? They're not going to be a DEX, they're only going to be a wallet leveraging some other kind of DEX that already exists within Cardano. Third is going to be a richer staking experience with multi-delegation. Now, right now on Cardano with wallets, for example, like NAMI, if you've got 10,000 ADA in your wallet and you go to delegate that ADA, all of that 10,000 ADA will be delegated to a single stake pool. Right now, there is no way to break down what amount of the wallet or what portion of the wallet you want to delegate to a stake pool or the ability to delegate to multiple stake pools within a single wallet. So this is going to be a huge feature here. If you maybe want to support multiple stake pools or multiple stake pool operators within a single wallet, you'll now be able to do that with this future upgrade. And then very lastly, we've got a portfolio view, which is now in the pipeline. So I'm sure you'll be able to see the um, price history as well as the price performance and the portfolio share of all of your fungible tokens and potentially your NFTs as well. Now, if you guys want to get access to Lace, all you need to do is go ahead and click on this add to browser icon here. That will take you directly over to the Google Play Store. And from there, you can quickly add the extension to Chrome. I've already done this and I've actually pinned the extension to my um, browser here. So this is what the Lace wallet looks like here in the minimized version. So from here, I can see my tokens, my wallet balance. I can quickly go ahead and receive or send, which looks very similar to the NAMI wallet. If I scroll down just a little bit here, you can quickly see my assets. So I've got Cardano, Meld, Cornucopius, Iagon, and a few other assets. Now, if you want to get access to the full version of Lace, you can click on this expand icon here. And this will take me into the Lace wallet. So on the left hand side, I've got my tokens right below that. I can see all of my NFTs at a quick glance. I can also get access to my recent transactions or my activity. And then at the very bottom, I can see some of my staking information. Now, before I dive into all of this here, if you want to go ahead and just get access to some of the general settings, you can go ahead and click on this icon here, which will open up your wallet. And from here, you can quickly copy your address. As you guys can see, my wallet is currently syncing and they've also got an address book feature. So if you're looking to send to an address on multiple occurrences, you can now save that address within your address book. Again, another quality of life feature here being developed by the Lace wallet. Right below that, I've got dark mode and I can quickly lock my wallet if I would like to do so. If I go into my settings here, I can see the network that I'm currently on. So as I mentioned, this is now live on the main net. Now on the right hand side here, I can see exactly what version of Lace is currently being run and the last commit. If I scroll down here in my general settings, I can see my authorized dApps that I've used or that I've connected to, and I can go ahead and kind of manage that there. So those are gonna be any of the dApps that you provided whitelist access um, for your wallet to connect to. I can also get access to general information like the name of my wallet um, and additional things like that here under general. And then I can quickly confirm my collateral here under this option. Right below that, they've got a security section, which allows for me to see my analytics as well as my seed phrase. And then right below that, they've got a support and a legal section. Now, if I jump back over into the token section here, I can see all of my fungible tokens, the price change within the last 24 hours, and then the balance in USD or the native token amount itself. Now, if I jump back over into staking here, as you guys can see, I've already delegated here to the DAP Central stake pool with this particular wallet. I can see at a glance how much ADA is currently staked, how many rewards I've earned, and the last rewards from the last epoch. I can also see the min pool fee associated with the wallet as well, excuse me, associated with the stake pool, as well as the margin associated with the stake pool. Another cool feature here, again, quality of life is going to be surrounding the network. So I can see which epoch we're in, which are a rolling set of five days. I can see the epoch and when it's going to end or how much time is left, how many total stake pools are operating right now on Cardano, as well as how much of the total circulating supply of Cardano, which right now is about um, 35 billion, I want to say, um, is currently being staked. So right now that sits at about 70%. And if you want to search for a specific stake pool, all you need to do is come in here and actually type in the stake pool ticker. Now, I also want to take a moment here to highlight that depending on which section I'm in, whether I'm in the staking section, activity, NFT or tokens, I've got some helpful guides and helpful questions here on the right hand side. So there's an FAQ surrounding what delegation and staking is, a second FAQ surrounding which stake pool I should choose, and then a glossary surrounding what active stake is, and then a video helping me to understand how staking is made much easier using the lace wallet if i jump over into the token section you'll notice here that i can see exactly what is a digital asset 
an FAQ surrounding how I can send and receive funds, a video talking about self-custody, and then another video surrounding how to connect to DAP. So they're really trying to make this as user-friendly as possible, and I think that they've done an amazing job. That is going to bring us to a close again here for today's video. I didn't want to do a deep dive here. Just wanted to kind of show you guys what is available. And I hope you guys will go ahead and check it out here on your own. Again, if you want to get access to this wallet, all you need to do is head over to lace.io. And then from here, go ahead and click on this add to browser icon. Now, I'm not sure if they're supported on Edge, um, but I would assume so given that those are probably the most two um, accessible or most used browsers within Web2. That is going to bring us to a close here for today's video, again, highlighting some of the features of the Lace wallet. I've got a fully dedicated video surrounding how it's used on the testnet, which walks you guys through the process of downloading the actual wallet, creating a wallet, and actually setting it up for the first time. That said, that is going to bring us to a close for this particular update. If you guys found any of this information to be helpful or useful, I would really appreciate it if you guys could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. And if you guys have any questions for me surrounding the Lace Wallet or IOG or even Cardano, then make sure you leave those down below. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.